Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> get a little disoriented. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> a little fleshy with Watch your step here. Are there any other locations that the Chandelier has mentioned? Yeah, we found you. Yeah. 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 They're worried about you. No. I didn't care. <laughs> what about the stairs? Dave was asking about you. In the beginning of my tour when I said areas change. Yeah. Yeah. When they turn that into classrooms and offices, they close that off for not only to control the, the traveling of the inmates, but also for sound. This would have actually been the um trying to make sure everybody's down here. Man, I found you. for the longest time in 1950 and in November morning his wife was getting ready for church and while getting dressed she was reaching into her closet for some say jewelry some say hat box doesn't really matter there was a loaded pistol that fell and it misfired shot her in the left side of the chest and she was pronounced dead two days later in the Mansfield General Hospital that same warden in 1959 discovered he had a heart condition and he had a heart attack in his office and was pronounced dead like an hour to two hours later in the Mansfield General Hospital. The reason I'm telling you those stories is because they're all over the internet. They have all kinds of garbage about it. Don't believe what you read. No, I'm not going to give their names out because they have living sons. They're, they're older than me, so they're old. Okay? <laughs> and they come back, and out of respect for that family, I don't like to give out their names, okay? But this would have been their bedrooms, and uh, they would have had a sitting room over here. Actually, now there's like a doorway that goes into this next room, but that wasn't there at that time. And there's a picture of what that room looked like back then, and these would have been bedrooms. There's actually podiums inside of some of the rooms, pictures of that furniture and that, okay? This is the, the second floor of their living quarters. The first floor of their living quarters where they would have entertained and had people over for dinner, and that is where the gift shop area is now. That would have been their formal dining and living area and office, you know, for him. He also had the office for the president, and we'll get there later, the warden's office. But you are now in the east administration area. We're going to go through the corridor over to the west administration area, and then right up down here, so you're not going to Running to everybody else, I, I can't yeah. see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Up here. We're up here. Wow. Bus stop at 
Then I'm going to basically show you how to get out. Unless you think you know, and I can just leave you guys. Yeah. 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 Oh, what? Right. Oh, hell no. I'm going to sit in the van. You'll come out eventually. Thanks, sir. Please come on us.
thought that only worked in restaurants. Sing for me. That's what I got to get to, too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 